Another thing, of course, that you're um, been paying attention to is uh, is your uh, your son Thomas, who's been racing for a number of years. Delighted to say he's uh, he's here with us. Uh, so please welcome Thomas Schechter. Thomas, welcome. Have a seat. When you started racing, was it a help or a hindrance being a Schechter? Well, I think uh, coming over to here in Europe and, uh, you know, what my father's achieved in racing, it was, um, there was a lot of pressure and a lot of focus and a lot of a media, you know, always relating back to my father. And when I moved over to America, I sort of could make a name for myself. So uh, it was a little bit different to some help and some hindrance. Yeah. You've got to, if the doors are open for you, you've got to walk through them, haven't you? Yeah, absolutely. But um, also I was under a microscope a lot more, whereas... Maybe some kids could do a, a year or two where, you know, they could learn a little bit, where, where people watched me a little bit closer when I was younger. Jody, did you actively encourage Thomas to get into racing, or did he come to you and say, please, please, pay for it, please? No, his mother got him into go-karts and, and supported him at the beginning because I was in America. Um, but when he came over to Europe, then I said I'd support him and uh, did support you. Did I support you? Well, he said, he said, you've got to have one year, and if you do all right, if you do well, then, you know, you can stay in racing. If not, you have to go get a job or, or go to school. And I think my second race I won, and from then on, sort of supported me. And I Just give us a flavor of uh, what you've raced in and how you've progressed and, uh, and what you're up to at the moment. I did, uh, well, when I first came here, well, in South Africa, I did go-karts and a little bit of Formula Fords, and then I did Vauxhall Junior. I was a uh, Formula Opel champion in, I think, 99, and then... Uh, 90, I think 90 or 2000, did Formula Nissan, and then went over to America. Uh, started racing Indy cars, done nine Indy 500s. Hopefully it'll be my 10th Indy 500 this year. And uh, yeah, have, have had a good career there, a, lo a long career, and hopefully, hopefully get a win at the uh, Speedway soon. It must be mega, uh, hammering around uh, Indianapolis Motor Speedway at 230 miles an hour. Well, initially when I went over to America, all I did was road racing. So, you know, coming to ovals was, was something new. And uh, I, initially I thought it was a little bit crazy doing 200 miles an hour and you're inches away from each other and seeing some of the cars get destroyed and some of the people get injured. But it's something that I adapted to and I liked. And, uh, you know, uh, I enjoy it now. I wonder if your parents are nervous watching. You get nervous watching Thomas race? Yeah, at the beginning, especially with Indy. It's, it, it's probably the most dangerous sport, motorsport that, that there is at the moment. And uh, yeah, but now and less so, but at the beginning a lot. You, you always raced on Sunday night, which messed my Sunday night up. I was trying to relax getting ready for, for, uh, for work the next day. Because when you raced, it was easier to switch codes. You could, you could jump into, into sports cars and rally cars and touring cars. Did you not fancy a go at Indy? Uh, I always concentrated on Formula One, and that always came in the middle of the season. So. I didn't want to look at anything else and just concentrate on what I was doing. Thomas, the American single-seater racing has sort of repaired itself after the breakaway with, uh, with CART and IRL. The championship's in, in, in quite good state at the moment, isn't it? Yeah, and there's a lot of exciting things happening. I think 2012, the new car comes out, and there's going to have manufacturers involved, and, and hopefully this will be a, I see a little bit of a difference in the cars, where I, I see a lot in racing today. There's a lot of the same cars, and... And Indy, those are the same engine manufacturers. So now we're going to have a little bit of a mix-up and hopefully maybe even some time manufacturers involved too. So hopefully it'll create a little bit of boost to the series. So who are you hoping to, uh, to race for in uh, 2011? Well, we're speaking to a couple people. Uh, you know, at the moment now, uh, we, I'll try to do about three, four races in the year. But my main focus is Indy. I've, uh, you know, run extremely well there and, and hopefully put myself in a position with a good team to, to have a chance of winning at Indy. The, the top guys uh, in uh, IndyCar, Ganassi and uh, Penske, they are, they're, they're tough to beat, aren't they? You've, they are powerhouses in that championship. Yeah, and I suppose it's the same in, in, in virtually any motorsport. You know, you get a top two or three teams that are very dominant. I think we're very fortunate enough this year in Formula One to have, uh, you know, a bunch of different teams involved. But America, it's, it's also run by budget. And, you know, these top two teams have got a lot more budget than the rest of the teams. It's hard to keep up. Jody, when Thomas isn't racing, does, uh, do you get him helping out on the farm? He's uh, pulling weeds out. I used to. I used to when I first when I, I first came I here. I fired I him about yeah, five times. Yeah, exactly. Uh, keep away from those tractors, <laughs> guys. It's lovely to see you. Good to talk to you. Uh, have a great year, Jody and Thomas Schechter, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.